We're going to take a look at a question here. Um, it's from the Waterloo Grade 10 Math Contest from 2020, and it's specifically question 17. So we'll give it a quick read, and we'll try to pull out important information. Um, it is multiple choice, but we're going to try to come to it without having to actually um, did do any deductive reasoning with those. We're going to try to just go straight to our answer. So Carly uh, made treat bags. Each bag contained exactly one chocolate, one mint, and one caramel. The chocolates came in boxes of 50s, the mints came in boxes of 40s, and the caramels came in boxes of 25. Those are pretty important pieces of information. Carly made no incomplete treat bags, and there were no unused chocolates, mints, or caramels. What is the minimum total of boxes that Carly could have bought? Okay, so this one can be tricky, and what we're going to try to do is pull out important information. So we know uh, this line, the numbers um, don't really come into the play too much, but it is important for setting a parameter of this question, is that we know that every single bag they make, so here's my wonderful rendition of a bag, um, has a chocolate bar, has a mint, that is also going to be rectangular. I guess I could have made it green. Uh, there you go. There's our mint and our caramel, which will be or uh, yellow, I guess. Okay. So every bag has one of those in it, and um, they use exactly one in every bag. So that's going to be important for us. Um, the next thing that we need to know is that our chocolates, okay, we'll do chocolates in red here. They're in boxes of 50. Okay. Those are our chocolates, we'll call it. Um, our mints came in boxes of 40. I think of mint green, that's why I'm gonna use green here. And our doo -doo -doo -doo, caramels came in boxes of 25. Oh, I didn't mean to do that in blue, that should have been our yellow, I apologize. Let's see if I can go over it, yes I can. Okay, there's our caramel, okay, we'll put it short from car. Um, what we wanna do is we wanna use the minimum number of boxes. So actually what we're really looking for is we're looking for something called the lowest common multiple. So we can actually go back and you can use some elementary math to actually solve this here. It's also known as the LCM, okay? We want the lowest common multiple between all three of these numbers because the reason that we need it between those box, those each of those filled boxes, is because um, you'll notice in this line, Carly made no incomplete treat bags and there were no unused chocolates, mints, or caramels, which means she uses every single box and nothing is left over, okay? So I'm actually gonna represent this with a number line. We're gonna jump to a new page and I'm gonna bear with me while I set up our number line here. But I'm going to start with, who was it that was 25? They'll take the longest to draw, the caramels. Okay, so we'll say the caramels here they start at zero, they go 25, 50, 75, 100, 125, 150. I'm doing my best to keep this space properly. 175, 200, 225, okay? If we need more, we'll keep going. Um, this is gonna be important. So we know that our yellow here, we'll see that's our caramel. Um, the next one we want to draw is, I'm going to purposely do chocolates next, okay? Um, is it chocolates for red? Yes. Chocolates for red. Okay, good. Um, uh, so each of these yellow ones represents a box, okay? So we'll think of this as one box for caramel, so we can say one box if you want, or two boxes, three boxes, four boxes, five boxes. What we need is the boxes to overlap. We need each of the boxes to overlap because when they overlap, that means we're gonna use all of the candy in them. So chocolates, they overlap at zero. If we buy zero, that's nice, but they also overlap at 50, okay? So we know our chocolates, that's actually one box of chocolates here. So we'll put uh, caramel, CA and we'll put chocolates CH here. So that's one box of chocolates. The next time you use a box of chocolates is at 100. So you'll notice the caramels and the chocolates, they actually overlap very nicely. I'd actually have to go to uh, make the line longer there. Um, but the one that we run into some issues with is our mints. If we jump back, 40 mints is an interesting one. Mints is at every 40 we end a box, okay? So again, we could do zero. And I'm gonna do my best here. This is about one box of mints. So we'll call mint is equal to, here's one box, okay? And that's at the number 40. Um, the next time we get a box of mints is actually at the number 80. So we have no overlapping with the first or the second. The third box, it's just a multiple of 40. Actually, it should be closer to here. Um, is at, oh, I cut the line, unfortunately. 
Um, 120, there's our third box. 160, that's pretty close to our to the other two, but didn't quite work out. We have 160. And finally, at 200, so this was four, our fifth box, hey, at 200, we get overlap. And that just so happens to be the very first time that all three of them overlap on the same number. If we were to continue this forward, we'd actually, they overlap at 400, they overlap at 600, they overlap at 800, and we can buy many more boxes. But if we go back to the question, it asked for the minimum. So in other words, she wants to spend the least amount of money and have nothing left over at this point. So we can tell by our lowest common multiple that they need to get to 200 uh, candies in each, okay? So they need 200 candies in each. Well, let's think about it. We know that our chocolates were 50 chocolates per box. And if we need that to equal our total of 200, we need to solve for how many boxes of 50 do we need to buy to get to 200, okay? So we'll call this the chocolate. We'll solve for chocolate right here. Um, we know that we can divide both sides by 50. And you may be able to do this. is relatively simple math for what you need to do. We get four boxes. And we can already see by our counting. We know that checks out. I could have said we wrote it there, but we'll just do a little algebra to add to the point here. Um, we know that our caramels, there's 25 in each box, and we need these to go to 200. We divide both by 25, and our counting will have told us this also. In this case, x is equal to 8 boxes. And finally, our mints, there are 40 of those in each box, and we need to get to 200. We divide both sides by 40, and we already know this, that we end up at 5 for mints. So the question is not looking for the number 200 or anything like that, but it's looking for the total number of boxes. Well, we just figured out on the other page, we have five and four and eight. So the total all together, sorry, I usually want to make totals in more distinct color. Uh, five plus four is nine plus eight is 17. So in this case, our answer would be B. We're looking for number 17.